Hello YouTube, this is David here with Code One Solutions. Today we're in the all new redesigned 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5. Uh, this is a completely new model. It's been changed. It's I don't even know why they renamed it the Ionic 5. It's nothing to do with the old Ionic. Um, but either way, it's got a cool screen. But if you're watching this video, it's probably not because you care about the car, but more about the installation. So here we have the HHS 3200. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna go and describe um, some cool features that we did in, in the programming. Let's get started. Before we jump into it, um, you notice that there's something different about this video. The first thing is that um, we have blue gloves. Yes, I know because of COVID, the, I no longer get the black gloves. So we have to get gl uh, blue gloves amongst the many other challenges that COVID um, has affected us with. All right, jumping right into it. So there's a d default program that uh, comes with when you go to program the HHS 3200 handheld. And um, this top is pretty standard. Slide switch one, slide switch two, slide, sh slide switch three. Tongue twister, say that fa fast five times. Um, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. And then you have the, the manual and the air horn. Um, to fit these stickers on the side, we have to like trim it a little bit. Because um, otherwise you have to put four and five and it's just, I don't know, my OCD is like that. Um, speaking of OCD, another thing that really bothered me is the default program that when it comes from Wayland has the hands-free button, has it up here, and then it has three tones, Whale, Yelp, and Pierce. If you're going to make a default program, why do you have to do that it starts with hands-free and then Whale, Yelp, and Pierce? Why don't you just do Whale, Yelp, and Pierce up here, and then hands-free down there? Like, that's much better for most people's OCD. At least I speak for myself. So either way, someone's got to tell those engineers, if anyone from Whalen is watching this, please change the default program that you have Whale, Yelp, and Pierce over here, and then hands-free is down there, and then whatever else you want to do down there, you can program. But either way, we went ahead and we changed it in our program because you can do that. You can do whatever you want with programming. Well, pretty much whatever you want. So we have Whale, Yelp, and Pierce. And then uh, what we did at Code One Solutions is we gave the customer an extra tone. So you get additional high-low. So adding another tone is actually not so complicated but adding it right is very complicated. So what I mean by adding it right, I mean that whenever you press whale and then you go to Hilo, Hilo will cut off whale. And then whenever you press whale, it will cut off Hilo. Now, this hands-free is not your standard hands-free from Whalen, and it's not just a regular momentary siren. What we did is, because this is a handheld siren, um, you're limited on the amount of buttons that you have. So we did like a combo. This is this toggles between um, horn siren and hands-free. So Right now, what you see this, this is what I refer to as horn siren. Now, when we're, you're in slide switch three, what's cool about it is that it automatically shuts it off. But in slide switch three, because you're responding, it automatically has the horn siren. Now, what if you want hands-free when you're in slide switch three? Ah, great question. What you gotta do is turn it on. So that's that. So now you have a combo. So you can still use the momentary and you can also use the hands-free. To program that in is actually pretty challenging. Um, if anyone's watching this video, I challenge you to try to make a program that does it because there's a lot of steps that's involved in doing that. Okay, so that is pretty much the, the cool thing that we did in this car. So it's a combo, horn siren, hands-free. Everything else is pretty standard. Horn. Regular horn. I think another cool thing that I did is that when the pierce is on, so also if you'll notice what I did is anytime you turn the hands free on it cuts off a siren and vice versa. All right, let's backtrack a little bit. With the slide switch off, so right now in the normal mode, you press this, it keeps it on. So you can still, You can still use the horn to escalate it. Now on slide switch three, it automatically kills it, but you can still use your horn to escalate it. If you have this on in slide switch three, this needs to cut it off, right? Because it, it needs to toggle off the hands free versus the horn siren. So it's pretty challenging to be able to have it that in slide switch three, these sirens will cut off the hands-free but leave on the horn siren and while it's off um, it won't do that you see how it's staying on and now it's shutting it off so it's pretty cool now to the end user to the customer 
it's actually really, really, really simple. All the customer needs to know in Slide Switch 3, they have a horn siren. If they want to respond, let's say at night or in a different mode, you just have to turn turn that on. And then you have your hands free. That's a cool combo. Another thing we did, it's a standard build if you're familiar with our videos. So this automatically turns on the takedown. Here's another button for the takedown. And it also does it when you escalate the pierce. And I was just doing that from the horn right now. Uh, the rest is pretty standard, dash, rear light, grill light, etc, etc. Um, you're probably all familiar with that. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to show in this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in future videos. And uh, look forward to seeing you the next one.